Okay, back to the review. Right where we left off. Off there at the bar. Her area, and she they are enjoying their drinks. Then they see his brother Brooks it, right? in the next room. And she got a gun from there in the fight. Brooks fight. And do a movie with our friends. What are you? Very nice, honey. Pulp fiction, anybody? Right? It's a classic. We love films. Okay, what the fuck is this shit? Well, you're gonna hand over the keys because we're gonna take my brother. Bullshit. Oh, you know what's bullshit is your bald, ugly face. Oh, oh, no, that's personal. Come on, honey. Let's just keep it fun. All right, I'm fun. sorry I called you bald, little bitch. Well, that's, again, you know, let the gun do the talking. Okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Back at the house, we see them. One of their friends locked a man, and they're trying to stack some stuff up to escape the room by going up the window. Was it Denzel? Was it Washington? It wasn't. Unfortunately. Um, be careful. However, he talks way. You can't lock us in here. You see, hate put us in here. Way too long, and starts falling down, and breaks the door down. And the other two went to the place called. Um, go back. Murder wrote. These girls I want to sleep with, and they just suck. You're like a breath of fresh air. They enter in the building, and they see a woman. That looks like she's brutally murdered. He gives her the money as slowly as possible to pad the movie's timing, so let's just hurry this up. And start to explain that this is not really part of the game. It's actually Action. real. Where is it? Oh, his brother's really been kidnapped. And they all think it's all part of the game. <laughs> He grabs the gun, which I forgot to mention, and where she thinks it's a fake gun. But he explains to them that this is real and is bargain with the mastermind and not paying him. All the money and something interesting for him. Harry and Egg to a different guy, and I have to get it back to him. He's gonna kill me. A Bulgarian's egg? Wasn't that the third Harry Potter book? Wait, I'm confused. So this isn't the end of this whole thing? No, it is the end. Okay, you said whoever catches you gets the car. We found you. We get the car. Game over. No, no, I'm telling you, this is all real. The shitty actors are real. Come on, how about that ridiculous fight? 
Was that real? Is this gun real? Oh. And here's my favorite part of this movie. Where she thinks, thinks the gun is fake, but it's real. Oh no, Annie. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I shot you! So they make a run for it. They try to outrun them. Um, however, or his brother rolls out of the car that they want him. And they have no choice but to get the Faberge egg. But first he... Annie takes care of Max's runes, which I also find pretty funny if you watch the entire film. It's freaking hilarious. Anyways, they get back to the house and try to figure out where the Fabache egg is at. I bet we can find Marlon Wayne's real name on it. So, if we called her up, would she let you go on her dad's computer? No, no, no way, that ended badly. So how are we going to get into a police computer without the cops knowing? Billy Bob Thornton. What? what? You slept with Billy Bob, didn't you? Hang on, hang on. I know where we can get on a police computer. Hey, Mary. Mary. Goodness. So you left your bastion and I owe the pleasure. Well, we were all just talking, and, and we realized we haven't had a game night in ages. Just the seven of us. Oh, I thought you were going to. So yeah, they go to Gary, the same character officer named in the beginning of the film. Also, Gary has a very tragic backstory of his wife leaving him. Debbie. Anyhow, Max tries to find the password. Figuring it out, it's obviously you know who. <laughs> so he explains his story. What she did. Anyways, he finds it. However, his arm is still bleeding. And Gary's dog starts enjoying his blood, which is pretty messed up, and tries to get the blood off him, but it makes it so, so much worse with adding water on the dog. It's running it into the room. And over his glass ornament. They leave right away before he notices. Turns out the egg they're looking for is at a where mansion. Jin, so they obviously go inside when the car was leaving and they had to find it. And we get to the best part of this movie. Seeing homeless people or should I say wrestlers finding each other, which I find pretty awesome. I knew it. They are real. 
And he was right. While they search for the egg, we get a bit of backstory to these two. And that's saying a lot considering we got eyes wide fight club going on downstairs. Why is this so important to you? Because, Michelle, look, I am losing my mind here, okay? We were broken up at the time. I got a hand job from Carol Waller, so you had every right to. So why not just tell me? Okay, fine. It was ten years ago. I was at a gas station, and I noticed a guy at the next pump. It was Denzel Washington. I got my... Hold up. It actually mm -hmm. was Denzel? Yeah. <laughs> he was really nice. He made some joke about how premium gas is probably the same as regular. I took <laughs> a chance, and I asked him if he wanted to get drinks. He said yes. We both got a little tipsy. I offered to pay for drinks, and he let me, which I thought was pretty cool. We danced for hours. Yes. Eventually, we ended up back at his place, and one thing led to another. It was just this crazy thing that happened. And in a weird way, it made me realize the only person I ever want to be with is you. <laughs> well, I took a picture with him at the club. I put it in a hidden folder. Denzel and Michelle. Yeah, maybe that's not Denzel. Yeah, it is. Mm, no, it's not. That dude looks a lot like Denzel, but uh, it's not him. You're crazy. That's look at that. That's Denzel. Okay, let me ask you this. Did he say he was Denzel? Well, no. He tried to introduce himself, and I cut him off because I told him I knew who he was. What kind of car did he drive? A BMW. Hmm. Three Series. Mm. What was this place like? Mm -hmm. it, it was a two-bedroom condo. It was, we used the, um, the spare room as an office. Well, the no scene gives it away, he says. And we finally cut to Max and Annie. And that. And. Uh, he didn't let his brother get on all that trouble they gone through. None of this would ever happen. And what to do with their original lives is them having a child. This sticks, okay? Gee, you really sound like a guy who wants to have a kid. Which Annie. Does want. Bring a metaphor. Yes, but here's the problem. No matter how long you and I stayed alive in the game, neither one of us ever made it up to the leaderboard. And you think if we have a baby, we'll be officially settling down and you'll never make it onto the leaderboard of life? That's such a good metaphor. Yeah, no, it's not. It's kind of bullshit. Why? What are we, 16 years old? No. You, you, you want to go backpacking through Europe? Uh -uh. Huh? You want to, like, have some wine coolers on a football field with Rebecca De Mornay? Not specifically. You know who's always gone for the fruit mess? Your criminal brother. And that is why the ghosts are about to eat him. Look who's embracing the metaphor. I'm um, wow. I, you know what? All this time, I, I've just been thinking that if I helped you beat Brooks, you would be less stressed. But you don't want to beat Brooks. You want to be Brooks. And that is the point of and try to be better. Also, the egg is right behind the fighter, Rasmus, right inside that safe. 
cave that guy's about to put into. He's about to grab the egg until they see him. So I'm at the stop it right here because it's already been 15 minutes. So see you guys in part three, y'all.